Sagittarius. Whoa, look at you guys. All right, we got the three that wanted to pop out. They pop right out. All right, so guys, these are going to be February's 2019 general readings in love. Um, and these are general reads, so they would not resonate with every single Sagittarius. However, if you um, know your moon and your rising and your Venus signs, you can check out those videos. Um, and as well as if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that bell to subscribe, okay? Because there's so, so much more to come. Don't um, hesitate to leave a comment as well. And like I said, don't um, hesitate to click that thumbs up button if this message resonates with you. These messages can go either or. Um, they can be flipped around. This could be your energy. This could be your partner's energy. Um, so let's hop right into it. You guys, cards jump directly out at the beginning of the video. So they're ready. Are you ready? <laughs> All right, guys. So past energy, guys, we have you deserve love. Um, present energy, we have passion. And for future energy, we have healing family issues. Okay, so let's dive right into it. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What additional messages do you have for, for my Sagittarius? Give me clarifiers for this reading, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for my Sagittarius, for my subscribers, all right? My soon-to-be subscribers, what messages do you have? What messages do you have? Okay, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? All right. Spirit is telling me to go two more times. So one, two. All right. So let's hop into it. Let's see. Bottom of the deck, guys. We have the Knight of Swords. This is really, really, really hasty movement. Okay. So some of you guys are moving really, really fast. Oh, gosh. So there's some type of communication. Maybe you guys have been spying or someone has been spying on you. Um, but someone is definitely doing some yibby yabbers with talking. Um, there could be some gossip or some slander going on. What's going on, sex? What's going on? All right, let's take a look. All right, so. Wow. Someone is speaking their truth. Okay, so let's hop right into it, guys. Past energy with you deserve love, guys. Some of you guys are possibly feeling alone okay some of you guys are possibly feeling alone some of you guys could be dealing with a virgo or you guys are definitely doing some soul searching okay you're feeling like you deserve love you're feeling like you deserve better but someone here could be telling you some type of lie or this could be you doing this because remember these energies can go vice versa someone here is not being honest and someone is deciding that they possibly even wanted to walk away from from a situation um and this could be in regards to possibly children could be involved or this is something that is in regards to the past so maybe someone did was dishonest in the past and you decide like look i'm gonna walk away if i don't find out don't find out the truth about the situation because i'm sensing that some of you guys were were doing some searching or some some of you guys were looking for something and possibly find some found something out or someone was not being honest with you or not speaking or not telling some type of truth Okay. I feel like here presently with passion, I feel like some of you guys are feeling as if there is no passion here. There's no passion here. It's like something all of a sudden fall apart. It's like a dramatic ending. Like everything just fell apart. Okay. It's like something here is your intuition is telling you. All right. Some of you guys could be, could be dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, um, but this is some. This is a head over heart decision here. A decision is need to be made. And I feel like the passion here has burnt out. Um, your intuition is telling your intuition is telling you that that maybe there's no more passion here. Um, so there's a need to make a decision, a head over heart decision. Going into the near future, guys, we have healing family issues. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces, um, but I'm definitely sensing that possibly there's something <clears throat> that's kept in the dark or hidden. I feel like there's temporary moments here. I'm sensing like temporary fling. Someone is saying that they're single. So maybe there's issues in the family. This is, these are the issues that need to be looked at or need to be faced. 
um, is that someone here is, has been keeping secrets um, and could have been possibly going back and forth. Here with this Empress card, there could be another individual involved. There could be a third party situation here. And someone was telling someone that they were single. OK, so maybe this is something that you found out. You found out that someone was telling a lie. Maybe someone was dealing with someone from their past. So someone decided that they were going to walk away or someone gave someone an ultimatum to walk away. Um, the passion here has died. Um, and, and it's like you possibly feel like disgusted, betrayed, stabbed in the back. I'm definitely getting Pisces energy or there's definitely something hidden here with this high priestess and this moon card here. These are things when things are hidden and um, kept in the dark. Let's take a look. I want to pull some more cards for you guys. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? What additional messages do you have for my Sagittarius? What additional messages do you have for my Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please give me additional messages for Sagittarius for the month of February. For the month of February, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? For the month of February. For the month of February, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? Woo. All right. That's my cue. All right. So let's see. Bottom of the deck, guys. Queen of Cups. There could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio involved. We got King of Pentacles. This could be someone that you're married to. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Some of you guys have, um, someone has options here. And and I feel as if there, this could be involving family or this is someone that you're possibly married to. Um, but I feel like someone has options here. We got the Queen of Wands. This is your energy, okay? You're telling someone that you're stressed out. You're worried, okay? You're waiting to tell this person this. I feel like you guys are worried. You guys have been stressing out. There's something that you've been waiting to express to someone. Um, with the Seven of Swords here, I'm telling you, there could be lies. Someone is not being honest. Someone is not giving someone the truth. In the past, we have this Knight of Pentacles. Things could have possibly been moving slowly, um, but I feel like there's some regrets here. So some of you guys are feeling regretful and disappointed. There's something that you could have possibly realized here with this Sun card that gained some type of clarity in this situation. And there are regrets and disappointments. You feel rejected and left out in the cold here, okay? And I feel like there's some truth. There's a lot of truth that needs to be revealed. There's there's things that are hidden that needs to come to the light in order for this for in order for you guys to work this out. This is how you're feeling. You're feeling like we we need to discuss this. These are things that we need to talk about, okay? Because you're leaving me out in the cold. I feel rejected, left out. In order for this to work, this is something that we need to talk about. Going into the near future, guys, we have the magician. So this is manifesting your desires. I feel like some of you guys are going to be trying to find a way to balance this situation out and get some peace in this situation. Um, with this page of swords, this is spying, okay? Well, this is someone speaking their truth. So someone could be doing some spying here. Someone could be being very honest and blunt about their feelings, okay? Someone could be making someone pay them some more attention. Someone is wanting some attention here. Um, and, and this is what is needing to be focused on. I feel like you're wanting to zero in on what needs to be worked on in order for this situation to work out and find some balance and peace in this situation. Because someone could have told somebody something, someone is possibly going to um, be doing some gossiping or there's something, some spying going on. I wanna pull a few more cards and let's see. Some of you feeling like this is not going to work if this if this truth, if you aren't going to be honest. OK, so some of you guys are going to be, you know, feeling like you're tired of doing of always doing things the right way. Because you feel like you're doing things the right way. But are they are they doing things the right way? OK, this is stressing you out. Why is the nine of swords here? This is definitely stressing you out, guys. And this Ace of Wands wanted to come out. Okay, so this is definitely involving Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm getting Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn really, really hard. This is someone that you possibly are living with with this Four of Wands. This is someone that you've been with for a long time here with this Ten of Pentacles. There has someone has options. Someone has love options because we got the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Cups here. Someone has lots of options in love. Someone has more offers in love. Um, and 
this is freaking you out. This is this is pissing you off. This is making you feel worried. Why does the Queen of Wands here? Yeah, this is possibly you were shocked to find out something here. Something here, uh, possibly. I'm, I'm telling you, we got the Moon card, the same cards that came out. Moon card, the Knight of Wands, the Empress, and the Tower card. These are the exact same cards. You guys, I'm definitely sensing that someone has been keeping some type of secret. Maybe there has been like some type of one night stand or something. There's been something here that you that possibly came out all of out of the blue, and you were like, "What? Really?" And it's causing you to feel left out and rejected. And there's lots of things that need to come out, and then you feel like this isn't going to work. Okay, you're feeling stuck because you're like, this is going to work. How are we going to fix this if you're not going to tell me the truth? Okay. feel like there's a need for a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, guys. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. If this message resonated with you all, make sure you leave me a thumbs up, comment, like, share, subscribe, okay? There's going to be so much more to come to this channel, so make sure you click the bell to subscribe, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Ciao for now.